Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through how to build a custom watch face for your Garmin Instinct 2 watch. Now I'm using the Instinct 2 Solar. It shouldn't matter which version of the Instinct 2 you've got. Even if you've got one of the 2S models, it'll still work uh, for this video. The main reason for that is because with the Instinct 2, you can connect to Garmin Connect IQ. You can also use other third-party websites to develop your own watch face and load it to your watch. Sorry, if you have the Instinct 1, you can't do that. You're basically stuck with using one of the delivered Garmin watch faces like this and then editing the data field. So you might be wondering, well, why do I need to do that? I can go to Connect IQ and download watch faces. I can use the watch faces to come with the watch. The reason for that is because you can go and create a watch face any way you want to. So this is a delivered one. Let's go ahead and press the menu button and let's change to a different watch face. Now that one has a little bit more detail, right? And then this is the one that I just created and put on my watch. What's nice when you can create them yourself is you can put values that you only care about. So unlike Garmin Connect IQ, where you're downloading somebody else's that they developed, you have the ability to go build it yourself. Now, first, let me say I'm not affiliated with Garmin and I'm not affiliated with the website that we're going to be using today to build the watch face. And that is Garmin dot watchfacebuilder.com. So let's go out to that website. I'm going to show you how to build a watch face. We're going to do it as simple as possible. And then you can decide if you want to go try and do this on your own or not. Okay, so now we are on our computer. I'm on my, uh, I'm at the website garmin.watchfacebuilder.com. Again, this is a free site. There are other sites out there that allow you to do this. I haven't messed with any of the other ones. I felt this one was uh, really easy to use, and so that's the one I'm going to show you. You do have to have an account. Uh, you create an account. It's totally free. You don't have to put in any kind of payment information, any of that stuff. But you'll have to have an account in order to develop watch faces. Now, when we go in here, we can see existing watch faces that have been developed by other people, and they have them public, so you can go download these and put them on your watch. Now, this website doesn't just specify watch faces for the Garmin Instinct. It also will work with the Garmin Phoenix, other Garmin models. If you want to see the Instinct ones, you can always just go up to the search bar, type in Instinct, and look at some of the other ones that are out there. But in today's video, we're going to be building our own. So what we're going to do is once you're logged in, you're going to click on the builder option over on the left hand side menu. And then you have to choose your device. So depending on what you have, you're either going to choose the Instinct 2S or you're going to choose the Instinct 2. You want to make sure you pick the right one because the pixel size and screen size is different on those two models, obviously because the 2S is a little bit smaller. So let's go ahead and pick the Instinct 2 in my case. And what it's going to do is it's going to basically bring up a blank watch face for you. You can use the zoom button over here on the right hand side to zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. You can adjust the color palette over here on the left side. So for example, if you want a white background with black lettering, you would do this one. If you want the black background, you would do this one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to leave it on the black background. It's really pretty simple. Up at the top here, you've got some different options. You can add date and time fields. You can add data fields, goals. You can add custom text. You can upload an image even, and then you can add shapes. I'm going to keep this really basic. This is just to kind of give you some of the basics. And then once you get in here, you can play around with this stuff as you want. Let's start with something basic like time. What kind of time do we want? Do we want an analog clock? Do we want uh, hours and minutes? Do we want, I'm sorry, with the AM PM? Do we just want it without the AM PM? I'm going to just choose something basic. There's our time. Then I can click and drag this value anywhere I want to put it on the watch face. On the left hand side, you've also got other format options for your given data field. So, for example, if I wanted to change the font and make it smaller, I can do that. I can do undo over here or you can always change it back. So we've got our time. The next thing you'll want to add is a data field. Now what's cool with this is you can choose every data field that is available for uh, the Garmin watch face. Some of these data fields are delivered from Garmin which means they're already on your watch. All you're doing is choosing them to make them available to you. I would stick with those for your first time building the watch face. So for example, let's do something everybody knows. I'm going to type in step. You can see here's the step values. Uh, 
the step count since midnight for the current day in number of steps. Well, that's your steps. If I click that, it puts it on my watch face. I can drag it wherever I want to on my watch face. I can go choose a different data field. Again, per data field, I can go over here and I can adjust the font. I can uh, change the format, all that kind of stuff, but I'm just going to keep it basic. Let's go add another data field. Your step goal, again, comes from your Garmin device. Your activity history comes from your Garmin device. Any of these fields are going to be easy for you to use. The ones that I was saying I would kind of stay away from if you're not a real techie person is, for example, weather. When I look at the weather values, you'll notice that there's a bunch of Garmin current weather conditions. Any of these values you can choose, throw them on your watch face and there's nothing special you'll have to do. They'll automatically appear. They're already on your watch. That data is on your watch. All you're doing is choosing to make it available on the watch face. Same thing with the Garmin weather hourly forecast values. Same thing with the Garmin weather daily forecast values. Same thing with Garmin weather. But you're going to get down to a section like this that's open weather map current location. And there's some values in here under open weather map. In order to use these fields, you have to have an API key with openweather.org. Those of you that have used digital um, weather forecasters, uh, rainfall collectors, stuff like that, you're probably familiar with this kind of stuff. If you're not, then just stick with the values that are under Garmin weather. So for example, let's do sunrise time. Got it there. Let's go grab another data field. We'll do sunset. You can build this any way you'd like to. So maybe you want to do moon phase. Let's go add Now again, under moon phase, there's moon phase, there's all these options. Those won't be any problem, but then there's also open weather map daily forecast. Any of these, you're gonna have to have that API key from openweather.org. So I would stick to the basic ones unless you know what you're doing with the API key. I'm gonna choose um, the moon phase icon. What's cool with this is those of you that have the Garmin Instinct 1 or 2, you're used to the moon phase only being available to be put up here. You don't have to when you're building your own. You can put it anywhere you want to. So if you want the moon phase to be right there, no problem. We'll go ahead and do that just for fun. Actually, let's just leave it over here. Add any data fields you want to from this list. You can also make them bigger. So maybe you want a really big moon phase. That's fine. Let's go ahead and leave it there. I mentioned shapes. I mentioned text. For example, let's go enter some text. I clicked on it. It brought up Hello Garmin. We can go over here and we can change that. I'm going to put testing. Oops, why didn't it take my change? There we go. Let's put that right here. We'll make it a little bit smaller. So on and so forth. So we've we've successfully built our watch face. Let's say we say, boy, this is this is perfect. This is exactly what I want. I'm ready to th go throw it on my watch. What do we do? What you're gonna do is once you've got it the way you want, you're gonna click on build in the upper right hand corner. What that's gonna do is it's going to actually build the watch face so that it can be downloaded for you. You'll see it takes just a couple seconds. It says uploaded, now it's building, and there's my watch face. Now at this point, I have the option to allow other users to copy it. I can turn that off, and then I have the option to share it. Remember when we first went into this website, we saw all those watch faces out there that we could download? That's because users had shared them. In this example, because it's just a testing example, I'm gonna go ahead and not share it. So. Let's say we've got our watch face, we like it, everything looks good, let's go throw it on our watch. What we're gonna do here is we're going to click on the download button. It's going to use whatever internet browser you're using, it's going to download it to whatever settings you've got specified for download. For most users, that's gonna be in your user folder, downloads. It's downloaded a zip file. We're going to click on the zip file and we're going to extract it just like any other zip file. 
it's extracted. When you go into the file, there is a .prg file. I'm not sure how well you're able to see that. .prg is the file that Garmin produces whenever they build a watch face, an app, so on and so forth. So now what we need to do is we need to plug in our Garmin watch to our computer. So I'm going to do that really quick. It's going to take a second for my computer to recognize it. My Garmin watch has connected. We're going to use File Manager and we're going to navigate down to our watch. It's usually going to be something like this in your File Manager, Garmin Instinct 2 Solar, and then they'll have a drive directory. That drive directory will adjust depending on how many other things you've got plugged into your computer. When we go on our Garmin Instinct watch, your Garmin Instinct watch is essentially kind of like an external hard drive. You plug it in, you can go download, you can basically see all of your information. You can see your apps in there, uh, user information, all of that. In this example though, all we're really wanting to do is open the Garmin folder. We want to open the apps folder. You should see some PRG files already in there if you've downloaded watch faces from Garmin Connect IQ or if you've downloaded any widgets from Garmin Connect IQ. I can tell you this right here is the Hunt and Fish widget from Garmin Connect IQ and one of those is a watch face from Garmin Connect IQ. We're going to go to our download folder where we just extracted our zip file for our watch face and all we're going to do is take that PRG file and drag it over or copy it over to our Garmin apps folder. So now we've built the watch face, we've downloaded it, we extracted the zip file, we took our PRG file and we put it on our watch. At this point, all I'm going to do is I'm going to close this, I'm going to disconnect my watch. It should automatically set this watch face as the watch face on my watch. By default, it'll always use the most recent watch face you've loaded, but we can go in there and we can change it. So let's go on our watch and let's see if we got the watch face. Okay, at this point, all I've done is disconnect my watch and you can see my new watch face is the watch face that we just created using garmin.watchfacebuilder.com. I don't have to keep it there. The one thing that is a little bit tricky on here is if you decide you don't want this watch face anymore, you're going to have to plug your watch into your computer, go to the Garmin folder, go to your apps folder, and then simply delete that PRG file for the watch face. But your watch will still function as always. I can go in and I can change the watch face. If I don't want this, I can go to any of the other ones that are on here. The one thing that you won't be able to do is you won't be able to customize it. So for example, you'll notice that all I can do is apply it. All of the customization was done on the Watch Face Builder website. Uh, and there's really not a need to do that. What's, what's kind of nice with this is once you build that watch face, because you did a custom build, you really shouldn't have to go change it on your watch face. But in the event I did want to change it, for example, if I say, look, I don't want that testing there anymore. I want a different data field. All we have to do is go back to the garmin.watchfacebuilder.com site, open up that build, adjust it the way we want to, re-download it, re-put it on our watch, and it'll work. Pretty simple stuff, pretty fun stuff. Again, this isn't the best example. I'll show you, like I say, one of the other examples I've used before. This is the one I created earlier today. It's got all the values that I need on it. It's kind of also nice, just like with any of the Garmin watch faces, you can maybe have one that has all of your health uh, and activity tracking stuff out there. And then you can have another one that's just more so for weather. And you can have one that's basically just to see time, however you want to build it. Nonetheless, I hope the video helps. At least it gives you the idea of how it works. Or if you're somebody like me and you're seeing people with all these different weird watch faces that you can't find, this is probably how they're doing it. Thanks for watching.